Hey, welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying so far. Alright. Yeah, let's continue Tears of the Kingdom. Well. I think we can do another heart upgrade. Fairly certain. No, I think I already did it. You have a quest? Oh. Uh, Sir Link, thank you ever so much for your noble efforts. I've been earnestly pondering what I can possibly do to thank you for saving the domain. However, Giotto found some ancient texts that mentioned the Zora Greaves. Oh. It is said that those who wear them are gifted the power to swim in the water as they please. I am certain that such an item would be invaluable in your quest to locate Princess Zelda. I told Sidon and everyone in the domain that I hope to present this special gift to you. However, the graves in question have still not been located. According to the text Giotto found, the Zora Greaves were created long ago. It seems they were offered up at the ancient Zora works as a prayer for friendship between the Zora and the Hylians. Upon hearing that, I desperately searched for them there, but I was unable to locate them. I wonder where in the waterworks the Zora Greaves were offered. Oh. Uh, don't tell me it was that. I swear I thought I saw another cave. Oh, Impa's here too. Ah, uh, hello, Link. I should have known we would run into each other here. We came to investigate the geoglyph in this region, but the sludge from the sky fall... But the sludge from the falling sky complicated things. Fortunately, that muck is gone now, and our efforts to research the local ge geoglyph may resume. Link, I've been wondering, have you found the geoglyphs in the Gerudo Highlands yet? Not yet. The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph shaped like a person. We intend to investigate that geoglyph as well. It's not, a, it's not so much a quest, but... Okay. Let's have a look around and see if there's any other quests to grab now that this is over. Oh, don't tell me this is... Okay, I was gonna say. It almost worried me for a sec. <laughs> it looked like it was a pose, like, ah, yes, I have a quest for you. I mean, there's references to old quests, but they're not repeats. Oh, Finley. Oh, uh, Linny, I, I mean, Link. You should have told me sooner that you were visiting the Domain. Really, though. Imagine how surprised I was to find out you were here after you had already saved the Domain again. It's just silly. Speaking of... I know it's a bit late to thank you for your continued heroics, but thanks to you, thanks so much, Lilin, uh, Link. You, um, uh, enough already. I can't stand it. It feels so cold and unnatural to call you that, as there were strangers. I thought it would feel weirder to call the hero of the domain by some silly nickname I gave him as a child, but uh, whatever. I'm just going ahead and call you Linny. Hey, Linny. <laughs> yes, that feels so much better. I call you Linny because you're more than just Link to me. I hope you'll forgive me for using my old friend card for that. Ah. Oh, I almost forgot. Listen up, Linny. I have a story for the brave savior of the domain. It's a super old story from an ancient manuscript I found while organizing the inn's bookshelf with Finley. Mm. Here's a story from the ancient manuscript. Long, long ago, at Tom Point, a blessed stone was hidden away within a sacred shrine. It was a magnificent shrine that was overflowing with blessings. See? Clearly, an ancient manuscript containing a timeless secret. Right? Maybe so. Right? I knew of all people, an adventurer like you could understand, Linny. This is probably something left behind by my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandpa. Probably even more greats than that. It says the shrine is sacred, so there must be some truly amazing treasure there. 
As soon as she read this, my daughter Finley declared she was off on an adventure to find the treasure. Before he knew what hit him, she had grabbed Sasan and together they raced out of the domain. <sighs> Finley is headstrong to say the least, she'll be fine, but I'm a little worried about poor Sasan. Tarn Point is way off to the southeast of the domain, so it's pretty far. I hope they make it there safely. Link, once again, you have done Zora's Domain a great service. Thanks to the efforts of you and our King Sidon, the Domain has been saved. You must allow me to thank you. Link, if you intend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing this world, you'll need a weapon that is up to the task. The Light Scale Trident has been passed down through generations of Zora since ancient times. It will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials and I will craft one for you in due haste. You must acquire a Zora Spear, three diamonds, and five pieces of flint. Even the Zora fear that is spear that is decayed will suffice. Return to me when you have re required items. I'll be waiting. Okay. You know what? I may have said no to a few Zora spears already. I haven't done the bow yet either. It's funny because in the previous game they were kind of just lying around the place. Like, I don't imagine. That'll be the case here. I mean, I can have a look, but it is doubtful. Oh, there's more. It's second. Ah, uh, Link. The blessed reign of King Sidon has finally arrived. I cannot think of an occasion more worthy of celebration. If only Princess Mipha were still with us, I am certain she would be overjoyed. <sighs> it still burns brightly in my mind's eye, like a star that never fades, no matter how distant. The vision of Princess Mipha grasping her light-scale trident in the moonlight, a gentle smile upon her face. So lovely, your breath would catch at the sight of her, although... As though she were an ethereal being, not flesh and blood. I dearly wish I could see Princess Mipha standing in the moonlight once more, if only... The Moonlit Princess. Interesting. So, but that being said, that could be like Korox or something. Ah. Okay. I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute. Sardin's vows now grant you the part. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so confused for a sec. <laughs> I 
Okay, there's one thing that I kind of noticed now. Which I think... Hmm. I have multiple powers, which is great, but I kind of I think I have to walk up to all of them if I want to use a particular one. Which, in the heat of combat... Uh, I wonder if they could have made it like a button press or something somehow. Hmm. It hasn't been noticeable because Shulin's ability I really only use in the air and it's automa automatic. But now, yeah, I kind of have two powers that, hmm. They're kind of... I think they're going to be annoying to try and <laughs> use in the heat of combat. Because I have to walk up to each of them. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it's not as clunky as I think it'll be. Miss watching the last two days. Nah, you've only missed one day. Because I didn't stream Tuesday. For my, for my time. So you've only missed one. The glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. How's it going? The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. iffy about the system, but we'll see. Good. The day is starting. Two out of three kids go back to the school. Oh, good. <laughs> Surprise! Where's the other one? Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, so let's see how this plays out in practicality. My day. It's almost Friday. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. Uh, this week is really, really busy for me, so... In fact, I only just wrapped up work, like, pretty recently, so... Just, uh, want it over and done with this week.
can definitely see the overcrowded nature starting to... Hmm. I bet when there's four of them on the screen, that's gonna... That's gonna be tricky to walk up to the right one. Oh, ugh. Dude, come on. I should work on getting the second piece of this armor. This is... Still not really super functional. No, oh, yeah, no. So glad, so glad that they decided to stick to their guns and not listen to the overwhelming amount of feedback that said, hey, the system sucks. In Australia, do kids go to school till May or June? Um, neither. It's... Because we're in the southern hemisphere, it's winter here, so there's no summer break like there is in America right now. Or was in America. Ours happened at the end of the year. But there is like a period where they get two weeks off. I forget when that is. I mean, I think it kind of aligns better. <laughs> like, yeah... Thinking about Christmas being in summer, it's a bit weird. But then your summer break is your Christmas break, so. But yeah, it's like, you get two weeks off. Three times, so. There's four terms a year, I mean, at least in my state, I don't know if it's national. But two weeks off, three times a year, so six weeks in total. And then at the end of the year, you get a long break for summer. Which, I don't remember how many weeks it is. Might also be six weeks collectively. Yes, it did. Okay, I got a Zora Spear. Now I can craft the light scale. the sludge is gone, so I guess maybe that'll let me find other stuff. I guess there's no need for my Mario Sunshine anymore. I think this was the one I was looking for when I first got here, yeah. And I couldn't find it, so maybe now.
Oh. This is going back up the waterfall, isn't it? But I don't, I don't see anything different. <laughs> There's a well over there. Hang on. July the summer and then get six week off and start back in September. Ah, okay. Hello, is a Twitch chat. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know. I don't know the reason why, but it shifts every year. There's a there's a reason it shifts every year here. That's so not quite the same every year. Well, this is a cave I haven't been in, so let's see. This... Oh. Okay. I can make a boat. If I do this, won't the stick won't it I can't I not steer it? Uh, let's just try it. I mean that's not stupid, right? I feel like this is gonna fail. This seems too massive, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, well. No, <laughs> it did not work. Capsized immediately. I think the sail was just bait. Hmm. 
No, that's too small. Be dumb. But I think it makes sense. tipping why why is it what the f why is it spinning on an axis there's a current here but it wasn't that wasn't that off center That looks pretty centered to me. No, it's the crystal. It's, it's the fucking crystal. The weight of it's not distributed. Like, this is one of these things where just precision is going to be annoying here. Okay, that's better. No, it's still, it's still tilt. Why is it? L oh my god, this is annoying. Okay, I need to, I need to count away. so dumb that I have to do this, but there we go. That's a counterweight.
Okay, the counter light worked. This was probably the one I was trying to find the whole time whilst here. I think Sludge was covering the entrance, that's why I couldn't find it. I mean, that one was alright. It's just the counterbalancing the ship. Okay. We'll see if this is the one. Otherwise, I'll keep looking. Oh wow, past a hundred trines. I'm hoping it's easier to drive this thing on the way back than it is on the way here. There's no steering wheel here. I mean, I know it wants me to make a Korok leaf with this thing, but... I think I'm good. Okay, that's, 
Oh, shit. Okay, this is just four. Diamond! Yeah, cool. My raft is gone, isn't it? Yep, it's gone. just magically appeared. That's fine, I'll take it. What is that? Ugh, need slip resistance. Stand here for a minute. Don't you dare. This might not work. Uh... shaking my head at this. Yeah, good. 
Oh, this is just outside. Oh, so this was just the way out. So, wait, what's this way? Oh, it's another way out. Okay. Sure. They'll handle that. What? What? Oh no, okay, yeah, that's that's a nice hit box there. That was totally the barricade. map. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, uh, let me go here. It is unfortunate that this place survived. Oh, sorry. It is fortunate that this place survived the panic surrounding the sludge. Still, Lido was quite worked up about all the damage. It certainly is in dire need of repair. He was in a rather excited state when he left to look for materials at East Reservoir. Hope he finds what he needs. see anything different. I 
wait, the water's drained. Yeah, like completely. There's another cave. What is this? Okay, well, there's the leggings. Okay, we're in full Zora armor now. Uh, don't have any talus hammers left. I guess this is the next one. Where is it? I don't even know where it is. Oh, there. Do this one. I guess that's it, huh? Ooh, this is nice. It's like unhindered movement in the water. I mean, there's still stamina, but like, pretty agile. That'll definitely be useful. Okay, uh, I'm going back up here because now I'm going to have to get more fish. Let me just check the Mepha statue. One sec. Dude wants to see her again, so I don't know. It might but just be take a photo of her at night, but we'll see. Maybe a bit too simplistic.
I have to kill more Lazal first. Ugh. Parts. Oh, be there. Feels too familiar having Zara's demand just torrential downpour. Okay, I found the Zora Greaves. I said, Link, just a moment, what is that upon your feet? Could those be the Zora Greaves? Wow, so a large hole opened up within the waterworks, draining the water, and the Zora Greaves are at the bottom of that big hole. Extraordinary. After all that my Sidon has told me, I can safely say that it is like you to find them on your own, Sir Link. May they prove useful to you during your noble travels. The Zora Greaves are a symbol of the friendship between the Zora and the Hylians. As such, it is a most fitting gift for you, as you are truly an irreplaceable friend to all the Zora of the Domain. Speaking of irreplaceable friends, whenever my dear Sidon opens his mouth, chances are it's to speak of you, Sir Link. Oh. He'll also say things like, Link is the best, and also, no task is insurmountable when I am with Link. I feel a bit silly telling you this, but after all that has transpired, I truly understand how he came to feel that way. Sir Link, thank you so very much. That he has found a true companion in you makes me as happy as it does him. Zora's domain will always be with you, now and forevermore. Consider that a fervent promise. Please do not be a stranger, dearest friend of the domain. Ah, this simply will not do. I forgot to tell you. I asked Chroma and Kira to try and find some way to assist you, Sir Link. They are now investigating something additional to the Zora Greaves. The Zora Helm, you mean the thing that I'm wearing right now? Yes. I am certain that the Helm will also prove useful to you on your journey, Sir Link. I hope you'll speak to them about it. You mean the the thing that I'm wearing right now on my head? Also, I'm sorry, but like, did Sidon? I guess it th that depends on the timeline of this. But did Sidon? I mean, she's green. Link wears green armor. Just saying. Oh uh, dear. Hey. Ah, Link, your timing is impeccable as ever, my friend. I have not discovered any new hints about your princess, however, I fear... I fear, however, I have stumbled across something fascinating. As I was diligently organizing texts relating to the royal family, I came across one of the particular interest. The content regarded a secret treasure, and that once I thought of you. This seems just your sort of thing, so? Intrigued? Yeah? 
You never disappoint, do you? Yes, this is just what I expect of my dearest companion. In that case, I shall let you in on the mystery. There was a passage in the text I mentioned that went as follows. The great fish, the eternal guardian, a secret treasure awaits just beneath the story of the stony form of its statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind, pass beneath the two waterfalls to find your prize. So what do you make of it? It's like a good old-fashioned treasure hunt, is it not? That said, it was a very old book, so it's questionable whether this treasure is still there, or ever was. However, if there is truth to those ancient words, this treasure may be of use to you. If you see fit, I encourage you to seek it. Um, the Great Fish is this building, isn't it? That's what I was saying. I don't know, like... There's not a whole lot of green Zora. She's the only one. Maybe just likes the color green. Was a Korok. What did the clue say? Oh, that's so much stuff now. It's the entrance to the domain, then. It's under the, the long bridge. And what does it say between... Leaves your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Counts, right? It has to be referring to the statue because this. I don't know where else there's a gigantic statue. Or an extremely long bridge that reaches for it. Let's see. Oh, what was that? Okay, I do have one complaint about this, and that's just if I want to. Do I really have to remove it so it stops doing that? Wait, really? Really? This was put here and there's nothing. Oh, no, hang on.
Spike too soon. Ah. You know, for a sec there, I forgot the underground existed. Jump. Where's Jump? But I don't think this is what it's referring to. Unless it's a, it's another it's behind another waterfall. What the? Yeah, no, it is. Okay, this is it. <laughs> okay. It's the Varu to Helm. It's like, I guess. What does it give me? But why would I wear this one? Like, I have the full Zora set now. Okay, well. All right, may as well. Ooh. <laughs> this looks fancy. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk. That okay, gets pretty far down. It's really far down. What the? Why is it so far? Oh no, okay. Hold on. That just kept going. Okay, there's the light route. Kids get a lot more time off than the adults. Well, I think part of the reason is, like, imagine school was, like, a full-time job, then kids would never spend time with their parents, which is probably not a good thing. It would mean someone else is raising your kids. For better or worse. Because you'd really only see them, like, in the evening when they eat, and then that's it. doing this again wait so I guess I got here without needing to follow the statues it's just just led me here hmm all right Ugh, what am I doing maybe my angles off now it's still not working ah, how long have you been standing there 
Why, you little? You tried to catch me off guard, did you? Yeah. Cowardly snake. Like I said before, my plan has changed. But we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just, uh, you know. I was killing time. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you get it. Anyway, I, I can't believe you followed me to another mine, persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh. What on earth? Oh, it's a water fight this time. I've got things to do, so let's make this quick. You get clan attack. Okay, uh... <laughs> These fights are great. I love them. Give cheese bread, please. I didn't realize there was going to be a fight here, so I don't really have food. Oh, oh no, this is going to be obnoxious. Okay, am I am I not overcomplicating this or is this just not a matter of like they're on a fucking boat? Why can't I just blow it up? It's made out of wood. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest one yet. Surely needs to do anything here. Yeah. I mean, I love how ridiculous this is. Did I see if you put the Breath of the Wild and Tears Rekindled cases together? The picture lines up. Uh, I did not. I haven't really looked at the cases. I don't think I have it handy, actually.
I have the Tears of the Kingdom one nearby, but I think I put Breath of the Wild away. Ah, the steering stick got wet and my, si and my hand slipped. No matter, once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place has to offer. And there's more. I just got word from my underlings. They've located the man himself. They've found the Demon King. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. We have enough crystal, more than enough crystallized charges now. There's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Hear me now, Link. Now, it's time to start the final excavation. The Northwestern Abandoned Mine waits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer it to the Demon King and... Bring the world to its end! Our next encounter will be our last. I mean, one way or another, I think he's correct. You'll get yours, just you wait. I ended up getting, um, the bootleg Zelda skin. So it makes your console look like the limited edition one. It's like legally distinct Zelda skin. <laughs> Thank you for eliminating the intruders. I was listening closely to the going on. The northwestern abandoned mine that man headed for is likely the abandoned Hebra mine. But there are a few chasms in Hebra by which to reach it. The path stretching from Hyrule Ridge that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. Yeah, talk to. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Instead of circles, there's hexagons, and then they use, like, a triangle that looks like an Illuminati symbol. But you look at the whole thing from a distance, and it's, it's pretty damn close. The colors are all the same. So instead of buying a whole new console, just a bunch of vinyl decals that you fit around the console itself. And it makes it look like the thing, so... The only known way to enter the death is through the chasms. Uh, yeah, this looks like just boring lore. funny that it's, it's pretty much a carbon copy. <laughs> it's just, the elements are obviously not Zelda. So it's like fantasy triangle. Gotta show a picture. Uh, I put one up on Discord, Instagram thing. It's kind of hard to take a picture of it just because where I am, it's just very shitty lighting. <laughs> so it doesn't do it that much justice. But it looks good. The dock, I think, looks the best. But I don't want to make it seem like I'm advertising something, so I'll just say, if you're curious, it's on there. Okay, let's get this refinery open. Oh, 
Welcome, I have a forged construct. I process... Oh yeah, right, yeah, it's the same dialogue. No unique dialogue. No, I think it looks really nice. There should be an option to be, like, as much as I can buy. You know? That would be nice. As much as I can carry. What is it gonna give me? A bolt boat? The heck is a bolt boat? I'm guessing it's a boat that operates on electricity. Which... Hmm, but... Doesn't water electrocute you? You know, um, I probably will never make it. <laughs> let's, just, let's just be real. I like making stuff just as I go because I think it's more entertaining if I just make it each time and then fail miserably instead of just having an answer that works every time. I think that, okay, well, I guess this, I've followed this thread as far as I can follow it. Huh. Interesting that there's not really treasure nearby. Okay. Uh, hold on. What else did I have to do for the Zora domain? I did not find that one. I should probably go look for that, uh, but... Oh, she's... I think I just have to make a... Okay. Yeah, let's not worry about that for now. Alright, I think I know where, where I went wrong. I need to make a weapon with a lionel horn. And then show it. I thought it was just have the lionel horn, but it, I think it's... I have to make the weapon itself. Oh, what? Yeah. This is a... Hang on. Unless you have some other business with me. Crabs? <laughs> Perhaps I'm not doing a sufficient job of hiding my overpowering feelings about bright-eyed crabs. Oh. You see, I met a bright-eyed crab right around the time all that nonsense with the sludge came to an end. I was un unable to stock any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge, and then it appeared. It was a single, glorious crab. It crossed my path while I was fussing and fuming. I was irritated. I was famished, and so, I swallowed it whole. Yes, the spikes were incredibly painful, but once I was able to transcend the pain, there was magic awaiting me. No, more like it was a greeting me with a warm hug of savory umami goodness. It was the tastiest thing, perhaps, ever. Oh, I'm positively drooling thinking about it. Well, that two isn't enough. Not nearly ten. I need ten. Can you get me ten of those decadent, bright-eyed crabs? 
I have the crabs. Oh. Okay. I can feel the umami goodness washing over my intense pain in my mouth. <laughs> you have my thanks. In fact, since this is our first crab trade, I threw in a little bonus until we meet again. Oh. <laughs> okay. But like... Okay, the first time he ate it whole, that's fine. Like, a bit of an idiot, but... Surely now you would crack it open, man? Like, you don't have to swallow it whole right now. I have... I have... I want to try it on. The life scale triad, and I'm entrusting it to you. There we go. Damn, it's a lot better than last time. Okay, so he can remake it. So there we go, there's the second champion weapon. I gotta find Segin. Uh. <sighs> um, is it night time yet? It's night time. Okay, hang on. Be quick. I can't think of another way to interpret this. Is it just a picture of the statue in the moonlight? Okay. Well, that's good timing. That's all it has to be. There's no way it's anything else. Okay, I just have to wait to get both in frame. Oh yeah, no, there it is already. Yeah, let's just do that. Just in case. I think one thing I'm appreciative of is, despite it being a water temple, there's no swimming. <laughs> In summation, and to repeat myself, as an attendant of Queen Yona, it is paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness. At all times and in every circumstance, you must behave in a way that is in no danger of reflecting poorly on her. Yes, yes, I am reflecting on that. Indeed, your words ring true. Hmm? Ah, Sir Link. Oh, Sir Link. Wherever are my manners? 
I was not quick to notice you had graced us with your presence. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> Perhaps that is because you were absorbed in lecturing me. <laughs> Honestly. And the reason for that is your lack of progress in the tasks you have been entrusted with. The Zora Helm we are to present to Sir Link. You mean the, the thing that I'm wearing right now? The thing that I'm wearing right now? That you haven't realized? That's going to be the thumbnail. It's just the the blank expression on both of their faces. I was just like, is this is she being serious? <clears throat> Queen Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information, yet you have done nothing with it. <laughs> uh, yes, that is so. I desperately searched the river for the fish that ate the Zora Helm, but I returned empty handed. Pure silliness, it is unlikely that the Zora Helm was placed in an actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the skyfish as a metaphor, leading to this place where the helm is hidden. You never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in these ridiculous misunderstandings. Pay attention! <laughs> Pay attention to the things around you! Help me, Sir Link. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel as though I'm overlooking something? Wait a moment, huh? Sir Link, that thing upon your head, is that not the Zora Helm? Yeah, I already found it. To think it was hidden on a fish-shaped island floating up in the sky. So, the Zora Helm was up in the sky, meaning it was impossible for us to find from the start. Thank you, Sir Link. Our goal was achieved, same as though we had retrieved the helm for you ourselves. Perhaps this means that Kira's lengthy lectures will finally come to an end. Crema. This was intended to be our good opportun our opportunity to honor Sir Link for his contributions. Instead, we caused trouble for him. We have so much to be sorry for, and yet, there it is, that inexplicable smirk upon your face. It seems it again falls on me to instruct you in proper conduct for an attendant. Listen carefully. No, it cannot be. I was so sure the lectures would finally end. Enough tomfoolery. I will not allow it. This cannot be happening. <laughs> Tom Foolery. Do people, do people still say that shit? I've never heard anyone say that. Not here. I feel like that's a boomer thing. I don't know. What is it with just colloquialisms and hating on Tom? Tom Foolery, peeping Tom, like what's what's going on? A boomer's named Tom just untrustworthy, is is that what it is? Oh, crap. Alright. Oh. Aww. This must be the shrine we heard about in the ancient manuscript text. I'd better wait for Sasan here. It's just, but, 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 but I've already done this. I've already done this. Do <laughs> I have to transport Sasan across now? <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so nice to just be able to swim. The fire hydrant on my back should be weighing me down more than what it is.
I know why that's funny. Oh boy, that startled me. I didn't expect to see anyone else here. Did you also come here in search of the treasure after hearing about the ancient manuscript from Coda? Mm -hmm. That's right, it's an ancient manuscript left behind Coda's ancestors. Since Finley is Coda's daughter, we asked her to tell us all about the contents of the document. It said something like, Long, long ago at Tarn Point, a blessed stone was hidden away within a sacred shrine. I know it's an ancient manuscript and all, but the writing lacked clarity. If you ask me, I was a bit skeptical at first, but come on, it's a sacred shine. If I was going to hide treasure, that's where I'd hide it. Finley was so convinced that she declared, Treasure hunt, ahoy! Next thing I knew, she'd left Zora's domain. She was so excited, and where Finley goes, I go. So here I am. We made it all the way to this cave as a team. But then Finley swam ahead, all ahead by herself, and went deep inside the cave. Uh. Don't lag behind, she hollered back at me. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Finley thinks I'm capable of anything. She really is such a sweetheart. I've been training like mad, but I'm just not a very good swimmer. Aww. I found the perfect little raft here and thought I maybe could ride it to her location. <sighs> Nope, the water in this cave goes up and down drastically. Even if you manage to get going, you'll end up on a rock. That means I have no way forward, so I'm not sure what to do. I promise Finley, of course we'll find the treasure together. Anything for you, that's what I said. What should we do? Google said it's like... Okay, so it's like a religious thing. I don't know. Still think it, it screams, Boomer. Yeah, I mean, sometimes those answers are they're not always... Not always correct. Sometimes you do get ones that they kind of just amalgamate information. Okay, I know what it wants me to- I, I know what it wants me to do. Like, I, I do. I do know what it wants me to do, but... Okay, I'm gonna save. But I, I honestly can't be bothered sailing. We're making a... A modern ship. I'll need to go get more. But I mean, I'm making a helm, so... It's rafting time. Are you really going to help me get to where I need to go on the raft? Thank you. You're ridiculously kind. I'll accept your help. Okay. Well, it's a float. That's all I have to do is just not sink the ship. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, uh, this is this is annoying. Let's stop go, stop go, stop go. But I mean if I want a good ship, I should add this to uh to my auto build. Oh, 
Something needs to travel a fair distance. We got it. Uh oh. It's okay. It's still good. It's still good. And then we just park it on the side. We did it. I'm finally here. Thank you. Sasan, look at you. You're so pale. Are you alright? Oh. I'm fine, really. Sorry I kept you waiting. <laughs> look at that, Sasan. There's a stone emitting a mysterious light. Could this be the sacred shrine that houses the blessed stone written off... written of in that ancient manuscript? Oh. Hmm, but I don't see any treasure like I was imagining. How disappointing. Hmm. Finley, we journeyed to this cave all the way from the Zora's domain in search of treasure. It was really tough, but now the two of us have the memory of seeing the sacred shrine together. Uh. That means more to me than any treasure ever could. Oh. Sasan. A little treasure hunt. It was a blast. I'll never forget it. You're right. This memory is the greatest treasure of all, truly. Mm. Thank you so much for bringing me all the way out here. It's because of you that Finley and I have this treasured memory. Oh, that reminds me. I need to reward you. Please take this. I insist. Just an opal. Mm -hmm. I picked us up along the journey to the cave. I'd be overjoyed if it helped you out in some way. Oh, I have something for you too. Here, take this. Another one. Uh. Just like Sasan, I found this on my way here. It matches his. Uh. What a great day, Finley. How about we head back to Zora's domain? I can't wait to tell Koda. The story from that ancient manuscript was real. That sounds delightful. However, let's be sure to hold hands as we swim back so that we don't get separated again. <laughs> Um, that sounds difficult, but if that's what you want, sure thing. Let's just take it nice and easy on the way back. Oh, you're, you're not going to take the boat that I painstakingly crafted and has now disappeared off the face of the earth? Okay. <laughs> that's that's cool. It's not like I needed a way back or anything. That's That's fine. Um, but I will add it to a favorite. Because now. Okay, so hold on. I need one that gives fans. That gives fans. Or I'm going to this device dispenser. <laughs> I haven't been here. Since the start of the game, so. I want to go to the roof of that building. Because we didn't have the glider. So I can't, I, I put it off. Um... Maybe now. <laughs> Rather little child to see that. fans that I just got. I have five. I mean, the fan is the most useful thing. I got a bunch of them this time. Okay. That, that looks good to me. Nine. <laughs> Fourteen... 
wings. Okay, nice, nice and stocked up on everything that I could possibly want. Jeez, this feels so different. Because I can go anywhere I want. I mean, at the start, this, this felt kind of scary because I didn't have the glider. And death was, uh, very... Very much a real risk the whole time. I mean, I'm assuming they kind of rely on you to come back. say. Really? Okay, here we are. Oh, there's something here. I've been waiting for you. My purpose is to conduct a ceremony to test the strength of any visitors. Those who pass are told the story of the Great Sky Island. I sense you are qualified to attempt this ceremony. Please inform me when you are prepared to begin. Oh. Are you ready to attempt the ceremony so that you may hear the story? Okay. Very well, I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. You must light the three fires on this island and return here within the time limit. You have 12 hours. Light the three fires on this island. Okay. Please wait here until the time bell tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's wait for the islands to rise precisely at the time of the 7 a.m. time bell. Yeah. I don't know where this could be referring to. Three fires. Thank you for waiting. The time has come. Okay. Quite simple. Light the three fires and return before the bell rings. Okay, they're on podiums. There's one there. But you must not set foot on any surface other than... What? Other than the roof of this temple. You must... What the fuck? Oh, I see how this works. This is interesting. So you can't do this until you have the Zora armor. Thankfully, the stamina recovery. I mean, this is kind of cool. It's 
Wait, Chulun's not here. They disabled Chulun. I mean, it's fine. I'll be okay either way. It's just... The movement speed would have been good. What memories? I still don't see a second campfire yet. Two. I'm gonna have to go for a hybrid armor setup. Oh, okay. The core up here. Would it be cruel enough to make me go up ice waterfalls? Hmm, starting to seem likely. Ah, uh, starting to seem likely. Okay. To go for a hybrid setup. <laughs> okay, cool. It's it's not it's not damaging me, so this is fine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and then just head back. <laughs> just to hear a story. in the middle. Just so there's no ambiguity. Okay. Well done, you have proven yourself capable. I will now tell you the story of the great Scar Island as promised. The Temple of Time and its land sits upon where once found on the surface on the of the world. This has changed. Its land and the land surrounding it now float in the sky. 
There is a reason for this. The hero who will defeat the Demon King will one day awaken at this very site. The, de the site must be kept safe from the Demon King and his followers. It was therefore raised high into the skies. The tremendous power of the sages accomplished this feat long ago. That is the story of the Great Island, Zonai Fabric. The sages who raised this land into the sky directed me to give this token to the one who heard my story. Now it is yours. Okay. I mean, that's that's nice, I guess. Another fabric. Alright, there's a core up that I saw whilst doing all this. Oh, hello. This is probably going to be something bad. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Be used to purchase more, uh, more power. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gotta get this Korok. So weird coming back here. I kind of figured they'd have something that would require coming back here. It just seemed likely. They disabled Chulin for that, like, I can't believe that. Because Chulin would make it too easy. They know Chulin OP, yep. want it to be a, a challenge so you disable the most powerful thing. I mean, it's, I guess it's good that I come back here. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Let's keep following the path, it's fine. In Master Mode, you don't get chill, and Master Mode for this, I feel like, is going to be brutal. Wait, has it, have enemies upgraded? Because the, there's a strong enemy there. Maybe that was always the case. Oh, I didn't go in this cave. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
here's something new. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> this thing. Because they share this in the trailer, you know? I was, I was wondering where this was going to be. I was wondering where this was going to be. I just, I completely forgot about it after leaving here. At the start, I was waiting for it to, to turn up, and it just never did. Yeah, this is completely missable. Okay, so I got the barbarian tunic. Oh, oh, wow. So it was here. I just had to turn around. Well, I guess, eh, all right, whatever. <laughs> That's where it was. Just at this task. I was too busy. Here's the thing. At this point, I got to this point. And I just tried to make a large penis raft. And that's what distracted me from finding that cave, so, okay. Wow. These... So conveniently placed, thank you. This should be where the Korok is. Or at least nearby. Alright, Korok is somewhere. on that island over there. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to climb that. Okay, hang on. Should be able to climb this. This is already... one of the stuff that came out of it. Um, I think we're okay. Alright. Now, how do I get up?
could have could have fast traveled. <laughs> it's okay. It's not a waste of time. I acquired multiple things here. <laughs> Multiple little. Oh, there's a Korok here. Okay, hang on, just so we got this right the first time. Don't want to get it wrong. really does expect you to come back here. Yeah, changing clothes mi mid-air, that's style points. Oh! Yeah, this shit right here. I feel like at a certain point we should be able to- <laughs> I still don't know where to go to get that. At a certain point, I should try and hit that dragon. It's too far away now, like I have to teleport. Chest that's easily missed. <laughs> Surprise, there's no Korok. All right. Now for the one that I came up here for. Somewhere here. I see it. It's somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh shit! Hang on. Need stem. Okay. Ha ha ha. Oh. There's another one over there.
Okay, it's not unbearable. Okay, so now let's... Let's assume everything's fine. Maybe overthinking it here. But you know, in Breath of the Wild, there was a Korok right where you woke up. I'm pretty sure I checked, but... Wow, fuck you. <laughs> I knew it! Yeah. They, they did the same joke. A Korok, a Korok was hiding on top of an incapacitated Link. Oh, okay. Okay, so check this out. It works! Apple gatherer, and then you put it down, and that's it. The apple gatherer recipe. So then you don't have to... ...do things. I wonder if you can do it for fish as well. Um... This might be a little boring, but I'm going to wait for this dragon. Let's go on a little adventure. Guess while I'm at it. I don't want to say trip. Well, trip's not the right word. It, it is an adventure. <laughs> wait a, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. The set bonus for the set is impact proof. Does this mean that I can't die? If I slam into the earth, I can't die. That's kind of cool. Is that really what it means? Let's see. Oh, wow. No, yeah. It's just, I, instead of slamming into the ground, he just lands. I wonder if I can do that to attack something. Like, just skydive and just pierce through it. Like this! Ah, oh, not high enough. It's 
<laughs> it doesn't. It, it'd be cool if it did an attack. Like, going with enough speed, you just pierce through stuff. That'd be cool. So that's good to know. If I'm about to die to fall damage, just put this entire set on. Classic Chulin headshot. I don't see signs of this dragon yet. It's possible it might not even turn up now that I'm up here. But I believe this is the highest point I can be in the sky in this area. There's the taller one over there, but for now, this I think is fine. There's also things I haven't explored here, you can see it, so... We will do that, I just want to... I want to see this dragon. I'm guessing going by the other things, I should get the claw first. Oh, it just seems so far away, like, I just won't be able to get to it easily. Unless I make a flying machine to do so. But usually you can't see it flying around here, so... <laughs> That's the, the clock that's on the Sky Island. <laughs> I should have taken note of when I saw the dragon the time, but I didn't. and then you just drop it. That's a neat little hack. Oh my god, you can probably do the same for rush rooms. Hold on. I should do the same for rush rooms. I keep productive, why not? Just things that are kind of a pain in the ass to get, like, this is another one. Now if I need to collect rush rooms off a wall, oh that's gonna I know the exact spot to use this. Wait, what? Apparently this chest was here and I never noticed. Okay. I'm Curious if you can do this with fish. I 
Okay, let me let me try something here. Can you? Oh my god, you can. Okay. My, my fishing device. I want to see if this works. This is kind of cool. Especially if this works. I don't know if there's a hard limit as to how many ingredients this is allowed to have. What else is missing? This is pretty amusing. Oh, it started to break. What broke off? Okay. I think I've hit the cap. Well, what does it register? I mean, that's probably the largest it got, so let's just... I'm curious as to whether or not this works. Okay, any sign of the Sky Dragon yet? Light dragon, same difference. It's in the sky. I don't mean it's a dragon that lives in the sky, because I'm aware all of them fly through the sky, but it is primarily found in the sky. Like, the area known as the sky, not the concept of the sky. Still hasn't appeared yet. The thing is, if I move off this island, you know what's going to happen. It's going to appear the moment I jump off here. It's just how it's how it is. I should have taken note of the time when I saw it. 
I'll give it another minute, but if it doesn't appear, I'll, I'll go do something else. I just got reminded of it while we're up here. Did I get to the Lost Woods? Yeah, I haven't tried, to be honest. Kind of just went and did other stuff. Probably get a Laurel in after this. So that the Korok Mass is in the game. Oh, well. That's fine. But I got the feeling this thing is not going to turn up. <laughs> now, that I, now that I'm actively looking for it, it's not going to turn up. Alright, I guess... Let's head to that thing. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Alright, going. Watch the dragon appear. Is that Matt Lanier? Yeah, it is. I mean, yeah. That's somewhere I haven't been yet. It's a lot further away than I thought it would be. Okay, hold on. This is still quite a way away. That looks interesting though. Uh, okay, I do have one of these still. This is a heavy investment. I went all the way to Nakluda. <laughs> this looks cool. Where is he? Well, oh. This is like what's in the, uh, the trailer. Hit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nearly have enough for another weapon slot. Uh, this feels very main quest-ish. So I feel like if there was something to do here, I'd be able to do it now. Climb down so I can climb back up. I guess. Wait, oh, yeah, right, I don't have to worry. Like, look at this. With this set, I can just slam into the ground. That's cool. I like that. That is a very useful set bonus. Let's not get distracted by that. There's a waterfall over there. Another one. No, not happening. It's just a waterfall. I'll climb it later. Let's stick to what I have here. What the fuck? Is it raining? No. See what this is about. It's yeah, okay. I think I know what it's gonna get me to do. It's gonna get me to dive. Zernite Forge. Okay, hold on. This. Just making sure there's no, like, Korok balloon or something there.
Look, it's the trailer. Da, 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 da. Oh shit! Wow. Okay. The movement is very, very fluid here. Oh, it's a hot spring. Definitely going after this. <laughs> I want to see what the stuff here is. Frost emitters are here. Nice. Homing cart. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm a, I want to make sure that I have utility for everything. It's another one of these. It's been a while. All right. Low gra- oh. Low gravity combat. so stupid but this is how I'm going to kill this thing you might laugh you might find it boring but listen I'm getting an advantage this way Almost. It's just because I'm looking at what's up ahead, and yeah, they're not weak by any means. I could probably do this for all of them, but I'm not going to subject it to that. This one has a shield and it's going to be annoying enough to fight. Ah, oh, it's still- what? It- <laughs> it was stuck in the air. And it was doing damage to me. That's a new one. Yeah, 
Yep. Ah, <laughs> it's like, oh no, I know. No, 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 no. It's trying to learn. I thought it had learnt its lesson and went full defensive. Okay, here we go. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. We Snipes. <laughs> You're not getting on the ground. You're done for. Alright, you're dead. That was fun. Spears are so much fun. Okay, we are going... I don't have arrows. See if I can do a mayor. Too far away. Okay, like that. I tried. remaining. Ah, yes, you. <laughs> oh, did it fuse it? It fused it. Damn it. I was trying not to let it fuse it. I wanted that. Just missed out. Oh well. Yeah, I'll take that. It's more battery power.
I feel like the mask could have been better. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it, but it's not fitting for what this is. Like, this looks like a Plague Doctor mask. Like, if this was something for, say, the Gloom, a mask for the Gloom, to provide Gloom immunity, that would be cool. It's like a Plague Doctor mask. Giving you immunity from the plague. Okay, uh, this is a good time to do a little intermission chat. I just want to refill my water bottle, stretch my legs for a bit, because it's almost been three hours, so let's just uh, take a small intermission here. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where I say bye, YouTube, but... Thanks for watching and hope you've been enjoying so far. And uh, please consider clicking buttons for algorithm stuff. I think. Yeah. I hear it's good. <laughs> Alright. See you next time, YouTube.